Hey guys, today's mission is to back up my old laptop, the X1 Carbon 3, I think. I've got Arch Linux uh, install disk here. I've got HDMI out going into my other computer for recording. I've got um, network here and power. I need to choose the SanDisk Extreme to boot from here. Okay, that's not working. Wrong USB stick. Wrong USB stick. Can you see that? Start again, guys. Start again. Okay, let me just quickly download this. Singapore. I probably need that one. It's quite big. Let's go for it. As you can see, I have a very, very fast internet connection. Isn't that really cool? Okay, now I need to figure out where the mount is. That one. Dev. Uh, SDA. Hopefully that's right. I I sometimes I sometimes add that one to make it go faster. There's a there's a little USB stick I'm imaging to. Okay. So now we have a freshly imaged Arch Linux thing on this on this key. Ooh. It's quite hot. I'll put it over here. And with any luck, I can just get on with my life and choose it. Yeah, it's working. Um, ooh. Okay, there it goes. It's booting, guys. It's booting. That's system D, all that stuff. Um, first, I need to make sure that my internet works. I'm going to back up to my machine called um, Nick Lo uh, the Nook. But since uh, Bonjour Abahi is not running, that uh, nook.local doesn't work. You can see what partitions are on a machine by, by cat proc partitions. Uh, the SDB is no doubt the, um, the USB key. And SDA is the hard drive on here. So I think in the past I'm quite partial to the netcat DD approach. But there's a big problem with that. You can't resume. So, um, and you don't really know if you got everything. Uh, so the best way to back up a machine over the network is rsync. So let's get that going. So mount is where you mount stuff. Um, I probably have to create SDA1. Mount. Actually, let's try and make this font a bit bigger, shall we? Is that better? Slightly better. To be honest, I usually just install Terminus. Okay, let's just... Oh, man. The cool thing is you can install fonts here. At last, we have a nice font. Okay, so... Uh, what was I doing? Okay, mounting dev SDA1 to SDA1. So now we've mounted it. It's XD4. And then we uh, go in here. And I want to back up Hendry here. All this stuff. I'm going to back this stuff up. And there is a lot of data here, no doubt. I want to make sure my network is good. I'm running uh, iperf three minus s on my on my server. Okay, good. Hundred bit megabytes a second. I think that's, I think that's three hundred twenty gigabytes an hour. 
I'm trying to back up, I think if I remember correctly, about 100 gigabytes. Let's see. Okay, so that will, 100 gigabytes, it's probably going to take uh, 20 minutes or something. Hopefully. So let's, I usually use this thing. Um, and then I go like this. Andrew is my username. This is like via SSH. Mount one X one C three. Okay, now the transfer is underway. Yeah, so the, so this backup will take up about twenty minutes. Why R sync over? Why R sync over the the alternative of well? You get to resume, so look, I can just break this and then I can just restart it. And uh, that will resume. And once it's all done, I can use, I can run it again just to sort of make sure everything's there. And um, another good thing, I guess, instead of using an image is that once it's on the remote server, I can just, you know, root, have a look at the files there and it's all accessible and all that rest of it. Well, that took about 2 hours and 20 minutes longer than I thought. Let me run it again, for argument's sake. Right, so I just reran it, and now it takes 40 seconds. So you can see the benefit of rsync here. You can check if a file didn't come across. And you can check the whole 100 gigabyte transfer in, in 40 seconds. That's that's pretty good. Yeah, I wish the initial transfer didn't take so long though. Don't know what that was due to. Right, it's all there. That's how you back it up guys. That's how you do it. Thanks for watching. Please give the video a like.